There we go. Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Ant coming to you live here from my home here in Dallas, Texas. I just wanted to come on here and drop off of, uh, some nuggets today uh, about perseverance. I feel that this is a great topic for everybody. Um, and so we're going to get kicked off here in just a second. But hey, as you're coming on in, feel free to let me know where you're tuning in from, what part of the country, what part of the world. I love being able to go back in the comments and kind of just see where everybody's tuning in from. I'm going to allow Facebook and YouTube some time and let everybody know I'm live here. But hey, today's topic, perseverance. We're going to get kicked off here in just a second. In just a second. As you're coming on in, let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, what part of the country, what part of the world you are getting a chance to check this video out. Today's topic is perseverance. It's a great topic, I believe, for everybody. All right, let me see. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and get kicked off, you guys. Perseverance and is today's topic. Like always, I love to come on and lead off with a question. And so my question for everybody is, and uh, just to kind of, you, know, you don't have to comment in the comments, but if you want to, feel free to when I ask this question. But do you feel stuck or kind of feel like you don't know what to do with everything that's going on in life right now with the corona with the COVID nineteen. Do you feel stuck or or feel like you kinda don't know what to do in these times? You know, are you kinda a little bit more afraid or uh, a little lost on, on a couple of things? And and that was a question that kinda been running through my mind. Like how do I approach this? How do I go and happen? And it was crazy because I was reading this book, the Ten X Rule, you guys. I was reading this book, I was finishing it up there. And um, great book by Grant Cardone. If you haven't read it, I encourage you to go get it. Hey, Miss Tracy, uh, you know, I encourage you to go grab that book. It's a great one. But as I was reading it, and, you know, it was just talking about different things throughout the book. And, and then I ended up talking to a good friend of mine, and, and she was mentioning something. And, and perseverance came to mind. Perseverance. And it's a, it's a you know, perseverance is, is a... <laughs> it's something you need to be successful. And let me start off with the definition of perseverance. Perseverance is doing something despite the difficulty or delay in achieving success. That's very powerful because it's going to be times in your life that things are not going to go the way you expect. You didn't plan for those things to happen. It was nothing you could do. There are so many great people that have persevered in their life to success. I love sports, so you, you always hear me relate to different people that Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't make the basketball team to his senior year of high school. He went on to be one of the great the greatest player ever to play basketball. <laughs> Tom Brady didn't get drafted to the sixth round. <laughs> And he's won the most Super Bowls in the NFL right now. You see what I'm saying? See, these guys persevere regardless of how difficult it started. I mean, regardless of how difficult it was for them, they had a vision, had a goal, had a dream. And they are fulfilling those dreams. And see, that's the same thing we can take into our lives. The same thing. You know, everything that's kind of going on, some people saying, hey, well, this is happening. Well, my job let me go. Or, you know, I got my hours cut. Hey, I'm so sorry to hear that, you guys. And my prayers go up for you and your family. But guess what? All that did was give you more time to work on yourself and push towards your personal goals and dreams for you and your family. Don't let nothing that hits you. Hey, it's just like the saying, hey, if you can't, <laughs> you know, well, how to go, how to go. If you can't, if you can't run, then walk. And if you can't walk, then crawl. But with it, something like that. And then with, but whatever you do, just don't, just don't stop. Just go for it. Just go, just go and make it happen, you guys. And that's the same thing. You know, perseverance is like, it's like a, a stubbornness with a purpose. That's the best way I can kind of put that. You know what I'm saying? Don't be discouraged about the things that happen in your life, you guys. Life happens to everybody. Nobody's exempt. But guess what? When I say don't be discouraged, you know, 
it's just kind of like a ring of keys. You know, there's a lot of people that have a ring of keys and they always have about 20, 30 different keys on there. Guess what? And you're always trying to figure out what key opens what. And do you know most of the time it's always pretty much like the last key that end up unlocking the door? And it's the same thing, you guys. Don't be discouraged. Persevere through all of that. Keep going. It may be that last call that you make to that last potential prospect that you have that somebody actually says yes to your opportunity. Persevere through it. It may be whatever it may be. You know what I'm saying? You know, and so just remember that it always seems impossible until it's done. There was people who always said, no, we won't ever fly. And then guess what? The Wright brothers just discovered the way for us to fly across not just the country, but around the world. You know, they started something. They started started something. But I do have some tips like I always did. And these tips came from Grant Cardone, the 10X rule in this case. And, you know, and so it starts off like this. It was something that he wrote in there, so I'm going to say the same thing with you guys. The three tips. I have three tips here. And then it says, all in, fully fully committed. All in, fully committed. Number one. Number one tip is first you got to write down your initial goals that you have. That's what you first got to write down. What do you want to accomplish in your life? What is it that you want? Maybe... Your high school, maybe you're about to go in high school, you want to make the varsity squad. Or you're about to be a sophomore, junior, you want to make varsity, you want to be the starting quarterback, starting point guard, whatever it may be. Maybe you got goals of one day going off to college. Maybe you got goals of being one of the, uh, a top distributor in your, in your company, network marketing. Maybe, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, you guys. Maybe you want to own your own business of some kind. Hey, whatever it is, you got to write the goals down first. Put it on paper. Quit leaving it up in your head. Put it in paper. Whatever it is that you want to accomplish, first you got to put it on paper. It says, second, you have to take the time to list the different type of actions to get to those goals. I, I'll give you all an example. I remember when I first got started in the company that I'm in, in network marketing, and I remember my friends, they were talking to me about this BMW program. And I was, I was like, man. I would love to get to that BMW level. And I remember having that goal wrote down of reaching this level in this company. Also, I remember writing down the actions to get there. What little steps I had to do. How I broke the numbers down. Put it. I broke down the different things I would have to do. I started asking people around me their advice on the different things that they did. And guess what? When I made those list of actions that started to propel me Propel me into the right direction of the way I wanted to go. Those list of actions. And then tip number three is the most important of all th of, of the two, really. I mean, because you made the goal list and you made the actions that you, you know, two, you had the actions that you, that was going to get you to those goals. Tip number three is, is, is straight up simple. Just as like this, you know, you got so many people out there that their goal is, Hey, I want to get in shape. Hey, I want to make this kind of money. I want to build this kind of house for my family. I want to drive this kind of car. I want to do all this. Okay, so tip number three is the most important, you guys. Then, without overthinking it, I wrote it down just like he wrote in the book because it made so much sense. Because then, without overthinking it, do not overthink this, you guys. Start taking start taking those actions that you just wrote down for tip number two. That's the most important thing because you can have the goals, you can have the actions wrote down, but the most important thing is you got to start taking those actions that you just wrote down. He also has something in there. I wrote it down. I'll share a couple of them with you guys since y'all are all about to start here, but it's a couple of things. It was like six different things he wrote down there. Hey, feel free to reach out to me. I'll give you the other four, but it said, a few things to think, keep in mind when you're about to start. Number one, do not reduce your goals as you write them. So if your goals is to generate six figures a year, don't get on and write this paper down and say, hey, you know what? No, I'm just going to do 50000 No, don't reduce your goal. Whatever your goal is, is your goal. That's your dream. 
And trust me, if you if you can think about it, you can do it. It just got to figure out how. Um, it, it's never, it's never, I mean, I promise you, it probably was a point in time that people said, well, hey, nobody ever be a billionaire. And now we got several billionaires out there in the world. Nobody ever do this or ever do that. Trust me, it's always people that say they'll never do that. People doubted Tom Brady, six round, six round draft pick, and now he got six championships. They doubted the man. Guess what? He proved everybody wrong. Six round draft pick, six Super Bowl rings. You think some people are shaking their head for not drafting the man? Hey, guess what? Don't ever reduce your goals because I bet Tom Brady's goals, of course, they increase over time, but I promise you, he had a goal that he was going to be the best. Uh, best quarterback to ever do it. And guess what? He's pretty much done that. So, and then number two, also keep in mind, is do not get lost in the details of how to accomplish them at this point. So, same way I kind of just said, and number, uh, pretty much don't overthink it. So, don't get into, don't get lost into the details of trying to figure out how to get it up. Just start. The the most important thing is you got to start. But I did have this. I wanted y'all to kind of, you don't have to, you know, say it in the comments or anything like that. But say it out loud. Take some time and say it out loud. Look in the mirror. Say it throughout the day. Say it every day to yourself. But say these these three words. Right? I mean, this, this little phrase right here. It says, I can and I will. And then at the very end, just watch me. I can I, and I will watch me. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and cannot do. Do not let any circumstances stop you from achieving that weight loss goal. Don't let any circumstances stop you or anybody tell you what you can and cannot accomplish. You can accomplish anything you put your mind to. So go and make it happen. I got a quote that it had an unknown source. So I, but it made so much sense to everything that what I had wrote down to share with you guys. Making the absolute best of ourselves is not an easy task. I'll re repeat that first part. Making the absolute best of ourselves is not an easy task. It is a pleasurable pursuit. But it requires patience, persistence, and perseverance. You got so, hey, you guys, I hope y'all got value from this. If you did get value from this, feel free to share this with your family, your friends, anybody. Hit share button. Thank y'all for all the likes, the comments. Let me give a couple shout-outs here again. Hey, Miss Tracy, again, yes, I can, I will. Just watch me. And hey, hey, Shannon, hey, William, and truly, and Mr. Matthews. Okay, and then, of course, there's probably more people that watch it, but it doesn't always let me know. It just kind of shows me a couple people. But I'm glad y'all got to tune in. Hopefully, you got value from this. Share with people. Also, if you would like the other tips, don't hesitate to message me, and I'll give you the other four steps, that is, that you kind of want to keep in mind when you're starting something, whatever it may be, business goal, fitness goal, financial goal, family goal, whatever. I believe these steps can help you out. Feel free to message me, everything. I hope y'all got value from this. Thank y'all. Peace out. I'll see y'all tomorrow.